get into her. She has a lot of movement. The hair is still soft. I feel like I can lay on my nigga and like he can run his hands through my hair and the hair won't be crunchy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back. So before we jump into today's video, can y'all comment down below and tell me how is the lighting? Like, is today's lighting giving a little bit more than it usually does? I'm asking because I just changed out some of my light bulbs in the bathroom. Um, it was giving very much yellow. I'm going to put a little video in here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But today I bought LED white lights. And I just feel like it's giving. I don't know if it's because I got on a white robe or what. But I'm trying to up my quality for y'all. Okay, so... For that reason, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. But anyways, we are doing some hair today. I just took out one of my braid outs. Y'all know that's one of my go-to styles. In between styles. Like when my hair is really styled like braids or a wig or something like that. This is one of my go-tos. Hopefully in today's video, I will find that I have a new go-to to go to. Because we are trying out for the very first time like for a for a wash and go. I'm trying out new products today. Hopefully Miss Jessie getting together girl. Oh and I'm also doing like the claw clip style that's like going crazy on TikTok right now. So yeah I'm really excited so let's get started. So first things first I'm going to co-wash my hair. The reason why I want to do this style first off is because my hair has been feeling dry like especially up here in this area like do y'all see all this fuzz and please just forgot this big planet on my forehead i'm on my cycle but like all this fuzz up here is not given i want to do this style because you have to literally put product over product over product in your hair and i know my hair will be really really moisturized so first things first i want to start with a clean slate and i'm going to co-wash my hair with um the mayel this is the pomegranate and honey moisturizing and detangling conditioner. So that's what I'm going to use today. Look at the quality. Look at that. Look at that focus. Come on, Sony SD1. I'm going to hop in the shower, co-wash my hair with this, and I'm going to come back. Okay, you guys, I'm out of the shower. Um... For my girlies who do not know, always dry your hair with either a t-shirt or a microfiber towel. Those other towels are too harsh and they cause way more damage to your hair. So you don't want to use those. But this is what my hair looks like fresh out the shower. Like no product on it whatsoever. Y'all see my heat damage in the front, child. Lord have mercy. But the curls in the back are actually curling. On this side. Now this side is different because... This is the side I experienced the most heat damage on. Luckily, the style I'm going for today, my hair is still going to be pulled back. And then some of the back is out. And then it's pinned up in the claw clip. So hopefully, you cannot see how much heat damage I have. But I'm just going to towel t-shirt dry her. Um, I want my hair to still be damp. I'm going to start off with the left side of my head first because this is the side... It has the most coils. It's the side that needs a little more love, tender care. I'm going to do really tiny sections because I'm new to this and not true to this. And let me show you guys my new growth. Y'all see how much new growth? Do you see how much new growth I have? That's crazy. Not the not to flick y'all off, but this is like, wait. Boom. Boom. Because you know, like, your fingers are basically, like, inches. Yeah, this is a good three inches. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a good three inches of growth. Wow. Don't play with her. What? And you guys can tell, like, just, let's just get into it. Do you see how thick and healthy my hair is going to be? It looks like I'm basically going through my transition phase all over again. Like, it looks like I had a perm. And now I'm natural, but that's crazy. So anyways, let's get started. First things first, let's show you guys the Miss Jessie products that I'll be using in today's video. Editing Tarot, hello. We'll hopefully put the links in the description box for you guys because I found these on Amazon and I specifically picked up the ones that were the cheapest. I think one of these was 11. The other one may have been like 13 or 16. So first things first, I'm going to use their leave-in condition. 
okay but basically this amazing leave-in concoction detangles like no other and acts as the ultimate frizz fighter and moisturizer for every type of curl period and then this is the coily custard first off i just love their packaging it's really pretty to me and this says the coily custard is the very best curl styler for transforming frizzy rose to define coily curls so these are the two that I will be using today in combination. Of course, I'm going to do the leave-in conditioner first. Then I'm going to apply the coily custard. And then I'm going to add, um, this is just grapeseed oil. This is just grapeseed oil. I'm going to put this all on my scalp and all over the hair at the end. Because, as you know, oil helps to lock in other moisturizers. So, let's get this show on the road, baby. This is clear. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect getting these, but it's clear. Okay. I don't know how much to put. I'm going to go for like a, a nickel size amount, I would say, just for this small section, you know, and I'm going to like smooth and rake her through. And I'm going to add a little bit more to my ends just because my ends be so dry. Like, I hate that for me. And after that, going in with the coily custard. Oh, they're both clear. This is much more looser than this. This feels like a light gel. This feels like... I know it sounds nasty, but snap. <laughs> it's, it, that's exactly what it feels like. Come on now. Hopefully around like... I'm going to say, like, March, I'm trying to get the areola length, you know? <laughs> so, we're going to see how fast my hair grows if I stay consistent with, like, taking care of it. And then I'm going to get some oil, just a little bit, to coat all of the hair strands. And what I've seen people do is take their brush, but they had dimming brushes. And they were like brush through. Ooh, that curl in the back did it. Y'all saw that? <laughs> and then I'm gonna like scrunch it. I'm nervous, y'all. I think my hair has too many different textures. I didn't know I had this much freaking new growth up here, y'all. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to continue doing that process all throughout my head because it's, it's real simple. It's real easy. Um, and we're going to see how it looks after it starts drying. Okay? So just stick with me. Stick with me. You got desires. I know. I know. You got desires. I know. I know. You got desires. And I'm not alive. You hear me down on my knees, every time I to talk beside. I'm in an eight and then one in a twist, this is prior. I try to pay all your loans, so I'll pick up your job. I had to stand too close to the city, you acting too vulnerable, living this life. I still walk your way through this before I copy all this ice. You wanna be my number one, you're not hanging like the main thing. I let you pay my number two, you barely made the second change. Put you somewhere, I'm gonna know I can find you. I need sticks with nothing around you. Katie, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. Okay, y'all. So I know I look crazy, like absolutely bad shit crazy. But just hold on, give me a moment, stay with me, okay, Carisha? Please. There is no way in hell I'm going to allow my hair to dry like this because if I do, it's gonna be, it's gonna give afro by the time it's done. Okay, y'all saw my roots. I did not know my hair has been growing that much. Like actually, that's insane. Like when I moved into this apartment, I didn't have that new growth at the top of my head like that. It's really a bush on top of my scalp, and by no way am I complaining about that. But 
I basically have to put my hair in the stack. Really? I basically have to put my hair in the style that we're going for today before I allow it to dry. I am going to take my red tail comb to make my little part straight in this raggedy brush that has been in my life for so long and I probably should like switch it out and get a new one but I have attachment problems so I basically already have a middle part. I always have a middle part which is why the middle of my hair probably be dry because it's just be out for the sun to attack it. I'm going to section some hair out in the back and it's not about to be perfect because I'm not finna put that comb back there in them nigga naps. No way. Okay, so I have something like this going on, right? Boom. And I'm about to slick this down and just pull it into a pony. I found out that when you allow your hair to be in its natural curly state, it kind of like picks up on the back. Like it kind of knows like, hey, I'm supposed to to be coiled this way. So if your hair is always blown out, if your hair is always straightened, it's going to get accustomed to whatever style you're putting it in, correct? Correct. So if you are having a problem with having your hair defined all the time, that may be something that you need to look into. Like maybe I need to wear my hair in its natural state a little bit more so it knows that that's what it's supposed to do. Okay y'all, so now that my hair is in a pony and all the curls are together, my curls don't look that bad. And we're gonna wait until my hair dries first though i'm gonna pull out my edges if you have somewhere to go i suggest you get your diffuser out and go crazy i don't have nowhere to go um so i am going to like i said put my scarf on i'm gonna put a bonnet on i'm gonna tell y'all how long it took my hair to get like semi dry because I don't, I don't want my hair to be fully dry um and I'm going to put a bonnet on so I don't put no hair product on my couch. Because I'm definitely about to go lay down while my hair dry. Read a book. Um, Now that I look like Miss Ely, I'm going to go ahead and chill out. And I'm going to come back when it's time to put the car clip on. And y'all, I'm not feeling the differences of my texture. Like, I didn't expect my hair to be a nut bush at the top of my head like that. Like... I didn't know my hair was growing that much. Ouch. I did not know my hair was growing that much. So what I am about to do is just put all my hair into a mid ponytail. Okay, so that's better. Basically, I did all that just to put my hair in a ponytail. Okay, so scratch all the... You can do the whole part section in the back. It really just gives it more length. And it looks cute when your hair is like short like mine it just gives it a little bit more oomph but baby the nut bush in the back wasn't cutting it for me so now i have to show you guys my cloth clips that i got from amazon i'm gonna link them down below because this is so stinking cute first off i got six right one two three four five six seven no i got eight stop playing with the kid do y'all see these these are too cute these down here are like matte so like they just look real sleek for one and then they're like um they're like rectangular if that makes sense and then these ones are like the circular ones did i do this correctly because i can't even see my clip like i can't see the clip at all i'm about to use a colorful one just so i can t i can be able to tell like if I did it correctly, because I couldn't even see the clip, girl. Okay, I think this is cute. I think, because, like, I can actually see the claw clip. Basically, I went, like, right in the middle. I don't know, something so simple that, like, it should make sense. But it confused me a little bit just now. I ain't even going. Yep, see ya. Let's do a close-up on the curls, because they're really giving actually factually thank you very much now it's time for me to do my edges so the stock will really come together and i'm just going to use the edge fixer if you're if you if you watch my tutorials you know i've been standing beside this edge control for a minute and i don't know about y'all but i love using my comb to get my hair together as well hey y'all that's how I be whenever y'all like like my stuff or like like a story, like a picture. I be like, hey y'all. Y'all are really my friends. Like, 
I don't know if you didn't notice, babe, but yeah. Okay, boom, nothing too crazy. Curly, messy edges are the best edges, in my opinion. This planet on my face is really crazy right now, but that's the style, y'all. Okay, that's the style. Um, quick review on the Miss Jessie products. I love them. I love them. As you can see, my hair is really fluffy. Like, get into her. She has a lot of movement. The hair is still soft. I feel like I can lay on my nigga and, like, he can run his hands through my hair and the hair won't be crunchy. How, like, gel has your hair. I hate the way gel makes your hair feel. And gel, I think it has alcohol in it or something. I don't know what's in gel, like regular gel. But it make your, um... It make your hair like real crunchy and real dry afterwards. I don't like that. Everything I put in my hair today is really moisturizing. My hair feels super duper soft. Also, y'all realize nothing that I put in today's hairstyle made my hair white and have a white cast. I hate that. So yeah, y'all. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a like. And make sure you subscribe, okay? And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, mamas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.